Good morning, everyone. Technically, it's still the morning here in San Diego. <laughs> Go Padres. It's a beautiful day. It's going to be warm today. In fact, it's been in the hundreds or high 90s for the past 10 days and probably will be for a few more days before finally we get to the fall that everyone else has experienced. I know there's a lot of crazy weather going out there. My two daughters are being impacted by the hurricanes that are driving through Florida. It's just a crazy time. And when you think about these massive experiences, these weather incidents, whether it's the heat or it's the rain or it's all this massive earth energy that impacts everyone, we're all connected, right? Talking about running, <laughs> achieving goals, making these events happen seem almost secondary and important, but they are important because they add context and value to our life and they're good markers and metrics to see how well we're doing. I think one of the things I've learned over time becoming a coach and spending so much time focusing on fitness as of late, there's a definite correlation between longevity, how long you live and how fit you are. And and there's actually some early science showing that there's a connection between things like VO2 max or your ability for your body to convert oxygen to energy and your likelihood of dying, right? The level of morbidity you have and the higher you VO2 max or the more uh, ability you have to convert oxygen into energy when you're under stress, like running or working out, the longer you live. And for me, that's, that's reason enough to stay fit and healthy. But <laughs> with that idea, I've led myself into this situation. I'm here to share with you some disappointing news that I am officially injured. Yes, not in a big way, but I am. I have been struggling after I came back from Australia, started to feel it have been pushing so hard and trying to push my pace. If you look at my Strava, you see I've been hitting PRs and I'm really pushing my pace and I just pushed it too far. And now I'm experiencing a bit of posterior tibial tendonitis, which is this long tendon that runs down your leg and behind the little bump, the malleus that shoots out of your ankle on the inside that helps with raising your arch and flexion and all this incredible stuff. But man, it hurts. It hurts. And I know as a coach, the best way to deal with tendonitis in a joint or an ankle, especially at my age, is to back off. And I have to back off this week to give it time to repair and rest. And my challenge is I have a race coming up. I have the Lake Hodges Trail Festival 15K, which is coming up in about 10 days from now, 11 days. So right now what I'm doing is going into an early taper mode. I'm still walking. I'm still doing my exercises. I still do strength training. I still use resistance band. I still do my stretching. I do my yoga, all this kind of stuff to keep me active. The rest of my body can still work out. But my ankle, my ankle, I need to really be careful with the amount of stress and pounding, right? So if you follow me on Strava or you've seen my announcements, I've been very quiet. And typically what I do is I pull out my camera after a run and I talk to it or I review, I take shots of myself running. I have I haven't been running, I've been walking and mostly walking on my treadmill. In fact, what I've done is I've parked my treadmill right in front of my TV. So there's never an excuse. I've been watching a lot of baseball. I'm a big baseball fan and this is an exciting time because all of the best teams are playing against each other to rally their way up into the World Series. And it's October baseball is always exciting. Even if it's not my team, it's fun to watch. So I'll just park the treadmill right in front of the TV and I'll walk. And now because I'm experiencing some tendonitis and some pain and some discomfort, I'll walk very slowly at a very slow pace. I'm not trying to break any records here or outdo my step numbers, but at least getting in something to keep the rest of my body moving because inactivity is the answer to failure, right? And you keep moving, right? Motion is the medicine that we need more of, motion, but not too much medicine. <laughs> Not too much medicine. I'm a perfect example of pushing too hard, too fast. And so for me, you know, my story is over this year, over the last nine months, because I started in February, I lost 35 pounds. I've been hitting it. I've been running. I've been gearing myself up. I'm now still training for the half marathon, the 
said, I think I'm training a little too hard. So my main goal is to protect the half marathon in November. So if I feel like my ankle is still hurting, uh, a week from now, I might even pull back from running the 15K trail race at Lake Hodges just to protect for the race that really matters to me. And the reason why the Joshua Tree Half Marathon matters so much to me outside of being just an incredible vacation race and a beautiful area to go, and especially because we're running overnight, and it's just going to be amazing seeing all those stars in the sky. The real reason is my two daughters are coming out and to be able to run a race with your daughters, with your family, with people that you care about so much, that's memories that you'll remember forever. And while I rather not be cheering for them on the sideline, I want to be in that race and I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure I am there. Now, I'm not going to finish it with any kind of PR or fast finish. I'm definitely going to be in the pack of the pack because this is a long term action. I have been a runner for many years, more than a decade, and I plan to be a runner for a decade more or more. And so the way you do that every once in a while is, is by taking care of yourself, especially when you get injured. In this case, I might have to pull back a little bit. Now, that doesn't mean I won't be making videos and sharing with you ideas here on how to stay fit and motivated and keep moving. Um, if you have uh, tips and tricks on how you've gotten through your injuries in the past, let me know in the comments, please. I could really use your encouragement and help here because it really does suck. But um, it's it happens to everyone. I know it. And you're probably saying, that, oh, yeah, it happened to me. It's happened to me in the past, too. This isn't the first time I've had tendonitis in my ankle or in other places where I've been injured. So that's part of being an athlete is injury. It happens to everyone. And this is just early signs of pain and tendonitis. I don't want it to become something more than it needs to be. I want to be running for a long time. So it's taking things in moderation. No excuses, but that is the story. And I wanted to share that story with you here here on the YouTubes while I can, because I highly appreciate your, your time, your attention, your insight, your knowledge, and then I can kind of consume that, think about it, and then bring it back to you to let you know that I hear you. I hear you. I know many of you have been in the same boat and uh, it's just part of the situation. And it's kind of underlines this idea as I wrap up this video is how important it is to be patient, how long things actually take, how long they take. As long as you keep growing and you keep moving in that direction, it's okay. But sometimes it takes a lot longer, especially as you get older, as your body doesn't have the same ability to bounce back as you get older. You have to give it more time and attention to the repair. It's in the rest. And if you ask me, what's the one thing you could do to fix everything as in what's the one thing that i can do to ensure that i'm getting better across all of the various levels of, of attention that i need to be and that for me is rest rest and sleep if you can manage your sleep and get rest you can repair it's in the repairing that things get better this i know and so taking some time off is absolutely the right answer here but doesn't mean i have to take time off from being with you. So thank you for watching. Be sure and like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what you're going through. I'd love to hear from you. I'll see you later, everybody.